All right, Shalom, Brother Rock, back with another spiritual exercise. Lord, willing to be edifying. Before I get started on the lesson, as always, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS. All right, peace and safety to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. Now, I have a quick spiritual exercise lined up, you know. <laughs> uh, there was a particular incident, you know, that came about at camp, all right, and I wanted, you know, I was thinking about, and just wanted to do a quick lesson on it, man, you know, Lord willing to be edifying, you know, to brothers that are listening or that are standing on the other side of the camp, man, um, just to, uh, <clears throat> so like when you come before the man of the Lord or the house of the Lord, you know, just be quiet, man. Be patient. Hold your foot. You know, take notes. You know, and just listen, man. Don't be so rash to uh, try to, you know, uh, show brothers that you on uh, that you're on a certain level. Okay, it's just you know always good to kind of pl play the background. All right, and you know, in due season, you'll be able to speak. You'll be able to read. You know, so on and so forth. Right, don't just be coming out in the in the wrong spirit, man. You know you gotta stay in the spirit, be humble, and uh, you know take the low. Even though you may know, you know certain precepts or you've been studying that you've built up to a certain point where you know certain things. You know there's a time and a place for everything. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna. Um, Going to Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 32 and 6. So like I'm going to start at 7. It says, Speak, young man, if there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. Verse 8. Let thy speech be short, comprehending much in few words. Be as one that knoweth, and get hold of his tongue. Okay? Because uh, the scriptures also say, uh, a man that hold of his tongue is counted wise, okay? So don't <clears throat> be out trying to, you know, seem like you're on some sort of sort of level. Even if you are, you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, knowing certain precepts and knowing certain breakdowns. But there's a, like I said, you know, there's a season for it. Don't be speaking all out of season, okay? Don't be throwing the spirit off because you want to get your point out, all right? Uh, you bring your precept out. But you're not paying attention to what's being, you know, brought out at camp or, you know, the message that's being uh, spewed out through the spirit and power. How about you? I was shy. You bring your precept out, you know, and then and when it's time for you to hear or listen, you staring off all in the space. OK, you go into the store, getting snacks and coming back, you know, uh, Jake just just. <laughs> I'll just, you know, in a to totally wrong spirit, man. And this is, you know, kind of uh, uh, exhortation too in itself, you know, to younger brothers that are on the other side, you know, that may be watching from the outside looking in. You know, uh, you don't want to be, uh, I have a video, you know, I thought was pretty funny <laughs> that, that kind of reminded me, you know, of, of the situation that happens. You know, how Jake just walks up says what he has to say and walk off, you know. It reminded me of uh, sexy, se sexy chocolate, sexual chocolate and uh, coming to America, okay. He did his thing, dropped the mic, and, and exit stage left. And that's, that's how ridiculous the guy looked, you know, when he did what he did, you know, brought his precept out, then went to the store and got him something to eat and came back, okay. Uh Drop the mic and exit stage left. I'm Captain Obvious, and Hotels.com rewards me basically everywhere. So why am I playing the pug bongos at this destination wedding? Because Hotels.com lets me do me. Where are my dogs at? Sexy chocolate. Drop the mic. See, that's what Jake be wanting. You heard him in the crowd. And that boy's nice. That boy's good. He want that uh 
acknowledgement or acknowledgement, okay, that you're on a certain level. And that's why, you know, Jake do the things that he, you know, that he does. All right. Um, one quick precept and one more precept and I'm going to, you know, wrap it up. Um, because, you know, in doing so, you know, that's not going to make brothers look at you in a different light or be so quick to bring you in on the other side. Okay. Because you still have to be, uh, you still, your spirit still have to be tested and you still have to be proven. This is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 6 and 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and not be hasty to credit him. All right. So just because you're dropping precepts or you figure you're on a certain level don't mean that you're going to be uh, hastily brought in or amongst the congregation to fellowship. Okay. Just be on the outside. Be patient. Take notes. You know, so on and so forth. So with that being said. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Again, all praise, glory unto Yahweh, by Shimmy Shai, by Shimmer Kakadash, Shalom.